Hello! I am Noel with Creating an Inspired Life. Thank you for joining me today. So it's been a while since I've posted. My apologies for that. Life is going good. I am, yeah, balancing out having a four-year-old and a teenager and being an artist and all the goodness that comes with that. So thank you for all your messages over the past 18 months since my last video. I am, yeah, still growing, learning, painting, all those things. So I actually have a new radio show, and I was just recording today a whole show about traveling. I just got back from two weeks over in Europe doing an amazing tour with a group of women with a, um amazing cause of helping women really come from a place of learning to be harmonious within themselves, really cut down on their adrenaline and their need to go, 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 or panic, and instead come from a place of ease and calmness, increasing their oxytocin, feeling more harmonious with themselves so they can get along and collaborate and feel more harmonious in this world and with the other women, other men, everything. So a really amazing trip. I went with a group called Braveheart Women, and we had a life-changing experience. So I'm so glad to be back here so I can share all that I've learned. But part of what I wanted to talk about today was my show was just about traveling. So as I've come back and people have been asking me how the trip went, everything, it's funny to me the different reactions people have about traveling. Some people dread it, have had horrible experiences, and I love it. I love everything about it. I love the adventure and the, I feel like I have this soulful awakening every time I do anything like that. So I wanted to share for all of you I know there's many artists in different professions that are traveling. Maybe they're on the road doing different shows or traveling for exhibits or just traveling with their families or their friends. So I want to share some of my top tips for making your travel super fun and something that you actually come back from feeling better than when you left. So let me check here. Number one, my step one is... And this is a big one. Make a choice to see things with new eyes. Like consciously choose to be in the moment, to embrace the experience. Sit in awe of the surroundings you're in. So even if you are driving through a state you've been through a hundred times, be committed to being and surrendering to the process enough that you can notice new things that you never have. Feel good about it. Jam up some good, fun music. Make the experience joyful. Sit in, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, you're taking a walk. Sit in that moment and fully experience it. Really taste the food you're eating. Look at the trees as you're walking. One thing I love from Europe, and I took pictures of a few different things that were different in every place, and they're simple things, but the way the sidewalks were, or like the cobblestone, they all had a different pattern or a different rock or stone that was used. And I love that. Even the hair dryers or the way the showers were, the way the toilets flushed in every country was different. So those really simple things I loved. I have some pictures I took of vending machines because I loved that in France there was croissants in the vending machines. Croissants with chocolate, regular croissants. Did you want water with or without gas? Which meant carbonation. And I loved that. I loved that in Amsterdam or in Rotterdam we could get Heineken in our vending machine. Like so random, right? So, all right, step two. Step out of your comfort zone. Try new things. You need to go in with a sense of adventure. And even if you've driven this route a hundred times, allow yourself two extra hours to take an exit and go see a little roadside attraction that you have passed by every single time. But this time, you're going to take it in. All right, let's see. Step three, plan ahead. 
plan ahead so that you can relax a little bit. This has saved me numerous times just by having a hotel that we know is waiting for us so we know we need to drive X amount of hours. It's all ready. We're not going to get there and find out there's a festival in town or something happening where we have no hotel. And then also the part of stepping out of your comfort zone, one of my favorite things is we love to camp. And so we will oftentimes do like two nights of camping and then a hotel. And our kids love this. And so we really feel like we're passing on good things to our kids by doing this also. And it's ultimate family bonding, let me tell you. So we will do, let's say, like a night of camping in our tent. And then, like one time we booked a teepee. And this was in Montpelier, Idaho. Just on the very southeast corner. It's an amazing place. And so, yeah, we all got to sleep in this teepee. And there was futons. And, like, we had a fire outside of it. And they taught us how to ventilate it and do all these really cool things there. And that's something that my daughter still remembers. My son was, you know, under one, so he won't remember it other than pictures. But he did get to experience it. And it's something my husband and I will always remember. And then another trip, we rented a yurt in Wallapa Bay in Washington. And it's just north of Astoria into Washington. And it was on this cool bay where you could go clam hunting, digging for clams. Like the shore or the tide would go back, recede, whatever you want to call it. And that's my Minnesota talk for ocean, ocean things. And um, there's people like way in the distance that were digging for clams and we just thought it was so cool to be able to walk on the sand forever through this, you know, winding path and do something completely outside of Minnesota life. So look for those kind of things. There's sites you can find. KOA has a lot of different things you can see in a train car or, you know, all different kinds of things. So be aware of that. Let's see here. Um, number four. This is a big one, especially for us creatives. Take pictures, but don't get caught up where you're living the experience from behind the camera. Or you could sub in from behind your phone. Don't be updating your Instagram or your Facebook or whatever all the time with pictures of your vacation. Be in the moment. Treat yourself the gift of experiencing what you're there to experience. So I'm not saying don't take any pictures, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't share that. But be conscious of it. Really try to, you know, if you're having lunch, sit and have lunch. Really engage with the person you're, you're having lunch with. Watch the people around you. Notice the little things on the menu, the decor. All of those things will help so that that whole memory is more cemented. So you can look back later and really remember it, not just, you know, like this. And you're not really taking it in. Or when you're like this and you're looking through your camera the whole time, it's basically like this, isn't it? You're not seeing anything that's going on. You're so consumed. And I know so many people like that. They don't even know how to have a conversation unless they're talking through their camera. It's like become a safety net. So really try to put them down. Just be you. Take it in. All right. Um, number six. Oh, wait. I skipped number five. Number five. So for us, we really like to, we'll have a budget, we'll set X amount of dollars, and we'll divide that up between lodging, gas, and souvenirs, admission fees, parking, that kind of stuff, and then food. And so we plan ahead of time, we figure out about what it's going to cost, and that really then frees us up. So when we're on our trips, we're not stressing, do we have this money in the bank, or are we overspending? Can we really afford this? We've already paid for it. We have that money sitting there. Or we've put them, you know, set aside the money in our account so that we know that it's for this trip. That has allowed us to go on these vacations and come home and have zero debt from it. There's like all the good parts of a vacation with zero of the regret. So I highly recommend that. 